what happened. When you guys make that turn and go up on that switchback right there, your uh, spare tire under the trailer rides to the ground. Audio brought to you by Rugged Radio. We uh, should start uh, saying that every time. We're going to, and our audio it. brought to you by Rugged Radio. But I wouldn't say it like that. Guys, this but is all seriousness, yeah, definitely audio. The audio that you hear every time we ride is definitely brought to you by... By Rugged Radio. Yeah. Those guys, uh, they know what they're doing. And not only do they know what they're doing, they uh, believe in the cause. They believe in everybody being able to ride. And they do... They, they, uh, they walk the talk, right? They walk the walk. Look at this. Oh, oh, <laughs> that looks beautiful. There's Shaver Lake out here in Cali. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing? We're going to go ride. Where? Uh, Tamarack Snow Park. And we're taking the brand new RZR. <laughs> Razor. RZR. It doesn't Wait. matter what you call it, Dom. We're taking that black thing with four wheels. It doesn't matter. We're just having a good time. Um, so we're not, well, we are poking fun at people, but you know, that's how we roll. We're gonna hit some trails. We're gonna hit some trails. And the brand new. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, do, we're taking up the, the RZR, the new 2020 RZR. It's a razor, idiot. Well, I have seen what I want, and I'm just dumb. Um, I'm gonna, we're taking up the RZR, the 20 RZR uh, Pro XP, up again to Tamarack. I think we're going to try to find some different trails. Yes, there's some other trails that we really want to hit. They're wider, a little faster. Get sideways a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to try this thing out again. We fried the belt, we swapped, we just showed you. Belt gonna, swap. In this video, we showed you that we uh, swapped out the belt. How to do that on a brand new 2020 RZR, RZR Pro, Pro XP. XP. Um, it does excellent over the rocks and trails. I don't know. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're jerks. Um, <laughs> it does though. But uh, we're so going yeah, it is what it is. It we're is. just feisty. So we are heading up to the hills to go do the riding thing. Uh, we got the Can-Am, of course. Our Can-Am trip is in the trailer. We're again heading up for a day trip and taking the big, big giant trailer with us um, because we need a place to sit and eat lunch and have air conditionings. Well, and we needed two trailers and we only have one. True. We Without actually, this, so. we got to get, I don't even want to talk about it. So here's what we're seeing right now. Look at, you can see out of the windshield this time, somebody washed the truck. It's still not clean. Well, it's cleaner, trust me. <laughs> so look how beautiful it is up here. Um, we're heading from home, which is supposedly going to be 105 degrees today, I believe that. Yes, it was 107 or 9 uh, yesterday. It hurt me. Uh, and now we're heading up to 76 degrees of beautiful wilderness, so I'm excited. Yeah. Look at all these trees. Pretty awesome. Our neighborhood got greener. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And well, cooler. And cooler, thank Let's God. See, it was, uh, 81. 81, and I think today, so we're going to be like 20. Yeah, copy. Let's see what's happening. Copy. Yeah, I can smell the rubber from riding that freaking spare right there. Huh? What spare? Oh, it's there. What happened? When you guys make that turn and go up on that switchback right there, your uh, spare tire under the trailer rides to the ground for a good three or four seconds. Nice. And, uh, looks like it's got a flat spot now on it where I can smell the rubber. Oh, uh -oh. Wow. That's why I had to give it some more throttles. We might need to raise that up. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, you know what? Um, yeah, but look at this. We can't be bothered by such things because look where we be. That would explain why I had to uh, throttle up a little more and boost. Yep. Oh yeah, I can physically, we can hear it dragging, and then right when you got off, I smell, I smelled rubber. Oh man. Well, uh, wow, the boats are out. Look at that, guys. That is our, uh, this is up at Shaver Lake. I keep forgetting today's Monday, so everybody's, there's nobody out there. God, it's just a beautiful day up here. We're going to end up about 30 degrees cooler than we would be if we were at home. Which is a welcome, welcome <laughs> reprieve from the heat. It's been a hot week. Here we go. It's just, oh, there's Uriah. I was like, where are you? That's not it. Look at that, guys. Yeah, a little bit further up here is our turn off, and then we're going to unload these things and take some rides. Have some throttle therapy. 
a little dirt distraction. Can't say fan, sand there because there's no sand. So a little dirt distraction. Yeah. We <laughs> we'll be back when we're unloading. Oh gosh, um, we are um, pulling in to Tamarack Snow Park. Yep. We are here. We're ready for a ride. We're totally ready. Oh, Timber falling. Okay, guys. <laughs> Open parking lot. We got wow. one guy here. Nice. How awesome is this? We have our pick of the spots where we want. Yeah. Someone's been doing some uh, illegal some types donors. of, you know, roundabouts. Donor roots. All right. I felt a little bit nauseous on that last leg because I was shopping on my phone. And uh, don't do that on a windy road. So here we be amongst the trees. We got uh, DJ and Chels right over there with that new... Oh no, with the razor. I'm gonna say it right like we do sometimes just because I feel like it though. So we're gonna ride, we're gonna do, uh, hopefully find some other trails um, that we didn't ride last time. We're backing up right now. Beep, 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 beep. We don't even have to be like all the way up against the thing because there's nobody else here. We can go in sideways if we wanted to and unload. Yeah. This is the place to be. I heard. Want me to go guide? Make sure we have enough room to unload. Okay, let me go check it out. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so. What's that? Oh. What are we doing? We are getting ready to unload so we can go ride. Come rack. It's a nice day. It's nice. It's a nice day. It's beautiful. It's not too many people on the road. Yeah, you know, on the trail, so it's gonna be nice. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Degrees cooler than in town. I know, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be feels great. It feels I know. So good. It was know? already warm at the house. Yes, and now I feel really like I got a little goosebumps going on. Is this your birthday? Hey, happy birthday! Thanks, man. Woo, hold you. Okay, let's take out the tire. Oh yeah, look at this. So we were scraping tire. I can see it. Down here, we're scraping tire. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. DJ's a little like, bit of scuff. <laughs> oh yeah. You see the steel belt or no? No. It's still good for a spare. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Ain't nothing we can do about that. We're not hey, uh, we're not lowering the truck. No. Yeah. <laughs> and that ain't happening, so it is what it is. What are you doing? Alright. Let's unload this. Let's do it. I gotta pee. Sorry, I bet he just wants to be out. Out of the playpen. <sighs> I haven't ever done this before. Remember yesterday how I forgot how to hook up the truck? Yeah. Trailer? God. You did. It's a mess. The garage. I left the garage a mess. Okay. Yeah, the Corona's mess me all up man i'm like way out of practice all right i do stuff with the trailers all day at work but i don't tie down untie i don't load them up all right we'll get this thing unloaded we'll be right back we're gonna, we're gonna go on a rip look at the new rzr over there there's nothing like the sound of a uh, evo full exhaust in the woods on a nice monday morning There's 
a new one. There's our new baby. These are just dirty, dirty cars. We all came dirty because we knew we were going to get dirty again. It's just a pointless waste of time because we're in the dusty, dusty mountains. Look at that. Can I join your guys' gang? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Only because you're all black. Getting ready to head out on the first rip out here in Tamarack. Um, we got the kiddos up there. DJ and Charles are in the uh, RZR Pro XP right ahead of us. Um, we got Uriah leading the way. And here we are in trusty old trip in our Can Am, yep. taking a little um, a little trail ride on a Monday afternoon, morning, whatever. Nothing better, right? No, this is awesome. Loving it. Weather's nice. We didn't get a super early start, but it's uh, still nice and cool compared to uh, in town for sure. We're, I think we're sitting about 30 degrees cooler than we would be if we were there. Uh, home is like 106 or something ridiculous. Um, we are at like 76 is the high. It's not even that yet, so it feels pretty wonderful to me. Pretty nice. Let's see what's going on up there. I'll take a little video of the, the boys in front. It's a little dusty. We got the new Razor up there. Yep, we got that. I'm going to try to get a little video of that guy. Um, DJ behind the wheel. He's loving it. We got our, uh, our rugged radios, pumpers, and our Bell Qualifier helmets all hooked up with the variable air control, air flow control. So we got some nice fresh air flowing through our helmets, preventing us from getting all dusted up and dusted out. Uh, I love it. Rugged radios. This is what I say. Two of these. Four yeah. if I had them. He gives two. That's four. Yeah, we're going through some pretty nasty dust. And Look at that, guys. But look inside of here, like, <laughs> It also keeps me cool. I know that's not what it was designed for, but it does put some fresh air blowing right on top of my noggin.
in a oh, 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 oh nice. Um, so after a long week of all that craziness, it's really, really, really. Let me clean the lens. Hang on, peoples. Really, really, really. <laughs> Awesome to be up here. Yes. It's like, I don't know. So how's this car feeling? It feels good. It feels good. Have you done anything to this car since we've been up, since we came up last time? Uh, no. Um, the last thing we were gonna try was airbox. Right. Air, airbox is uh, we're missing a hose. Right. So we're waiting for that hose, and we will, uh, you know, we'll go from there. The clutch was already adjusted before the last trip. The weights? Uh, wait a minute. Was it? I don't believe so. Okay. Maybe not. Did we do clutch weights after? I don't know. I believe that we did them after the last trip. Well, Chad, we'll have to review the video footage, but yeah. I think we did. It, it wouldn't, those would, it's that it wouldn't be something we would tell up here because this is kind of slow. The trails we're on right now are kind of slow. Right. Um, and when we get way up here, we're 8,000 feet, we lose, you know, you lose... The car is still down on power. Right. Because, you know. The air is thinner. Yeah. So it's not able to what, build up as much in pressure and yeah. get us going. So, yeah, it's a different uh, different kind of deal. Yeah. But, uh, <sighs> who cares? Hey, Darren. Yeah, go ahead. You got your cheapness on? Yeah. Yes. Just go like that. Yeah. Jeep it. I do, I do. Well, oh, eat. What was that again? So far, it looks like we're pretty close to the trails we were on last time. No, this is a different one. We didn't, we didn't even go close to this one last time. Uh, Jeep says we're not that far from the other trails. Well, this trail will lead us to the waterfall. Yes! Yes! Sorry, I got so excited I wanted to do the waterfall. Look at all these little towers that were put up here by the um, ghosts of Bald Mountain. Story says that at night, I don't know, I, got, I don't know where to go. <laughs> I lost it. People I come in and they stack some rocks up. Yeah. At night, <laughs> look at that. Are they trail markers? I think so. Yeah. Probably so when you come through here at night, you can see, I don't know. Right. <laughs> I'm not a big trail person, so. Right. We don't know. We know knowing. We'll admit that. We're okay with that. Okay, guys. Hey, this step up right here is pretty fun. I did it last time. You got to burp it at the end. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Look steppy. The step right in the middle. The uh, one way around. I just don't like the big hole in the top. You don't want to break anything on the first ride. Wow. Got to stretch out a little bit there coming up that part. It's a little dusty, so we... Uh <laughs> oh, God. It's not the same as, uh, definitely not the same as sand riding, you know that, but, you know. Yeah. You can get some fastness, uh, some speed in every once in a while when you find the right spot. Yeah, this is not a great trail for it. There are some trails up here, we just... Uh, we ought to find them. I'm going to do research. Yeah. Yeah, good call. Look at this, guys. Good call and take a little break. I want to put my feet in that water. Look at that. All right. Cool little spot right here. This looks beautiful. I love it. God, I do love it. I wanted to put my feet in the water. Okay, guys. Oh. Yeah, that's a steepen. Yeah, it is. You're just coming down facing the ground. <laughs> oh, hey, ground. Hey, hard rocks. Okay, stopping for a minute, looks like. Yep. I'm going to pull right up here. Oh. I'm wearing four, right? Yeah. Because you remember what happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take Here a little go. break. Yeah, and we'll be back. All right, check out this spot we just stopped at. We just stopped here. Yep, we just stopped here. I'm going to go walk in the water. Huh? 
down there. What do you think? We go spot, huh? Oh, you got dirty. What happened? I riding behind Uriah. Uh, so could you hear us on the radio? Yeah, but I, you guys were just staticky on my end. So like, I could hear it, but I couldn't hear key words. Huh. Oh, there was a lot of key words. Something. I know. That's why I'm like, I don't know what they said. Something about going and then I wouldn't hear like left or right. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, everything's turned up. Huh. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, we'll be back. We're gonna walk around, Ow. check out this water. Right? Yeah, we are. Right now. I'm a pro professional hiker. You know. So hopefully I don't fall down. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> jumped over that river, and there we go. I jumped, I jumped over that river. Whoa, you are out of control. Right? Well, I just walked through, um, you and Chelsea's barefoot hike through a waterfall, so. Yeah? Pretty much. I want to go, I want to see that. We went around. All right. Those rascals. Anyways, well, we just had an awesome time. We hung out here for a bit, the waterfall spot. Um, we're up at, above Shaver, Shaver Lake in Cali, Tamarack Snow Park, and the off-season open to uh, off-roaders. Do it, bro. As, such as ourselves. So. Dude, you're all dirty. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's the heat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna climb up this stuff and go see where these fools are. Let's find them. We got an overheated GoPro right here. Yeah, it's about to get go thrown. I don't know. <laughs> Look at this. We're climbing by waterfall. That was very relaxing. I got to walk around barefoot, put my feet in that waterfall. Look at that, guys. Tell me it's not beautiful. Aside from the fact that it's 30 degrees cooler, there's a breeze. I was walking barefoot in a waterfall. Um, it sounds like a fairy tale, I know, but it's all true. <laughs> Aside from that, just the view. Just being away from life for a little bit, huh? So, it is nice. we're going to be riding in the, we're going to take a turn in, in the RZR pretty quick here, huh? Yep. Kind of get a little more seat time in that car. We haven't even sat down and actually done a review and an overview and like seen all the things that it has. Sometimes we're like, hey, look at this when we're looking at it in the garage. Well, the thing that sucks is right now there's just no, we can't get to the sand right now. A lot of people are like, oh, I need, you know, we don't ride. We can't ride in our spot right now. It's uh, closed. Uh, and our other favorite spot is 450 miles away. And it's and 130 yeah. degrees. Yeah, we don't have the time off work. You know, it's just valid reasons. We just can't. Yeah. It can't happen right now. So we're doing what we can. Yep. We're but, doing this. Yeah, come October, end of October, it's on. Is a different story. Yeah, so right now we're going to get to see how it is up here, how it handles on the trails how both cars are, you know, it's great to actually be able to drive both of these cars and kind of really do a comparison. The comparisons yeah. that we typically do are like us driving our car and somebody else driving their car. And we're we're looking at times or we're looking, going back and reviewing video. We're talking to the other driver. But to be able to sit in both driver's seats and mash on it because they're both yours yeah. and you can drive both the way you would drive your own car, right? Yep, exactly. Gives you a totally different perspective. And so we're lucky enough to be able to do that. Yeah. Now we are comparing a 2017 it's got a bunch of mod, you know, bolt-on bolt stuff right. and tunes and whatnot. Um, but that's what we not have. Not a ton of bolt-on, yeah. but it's not stock. We're comparing it to, you know, a bone stock brand new razor. So. But the cool thing about that is that when we're excited about the things that that razor can do, coming out of a, like, tuned-up car, it means that that, you know, for your average driver or for somebody who's maybe just getting into it, that is going to feel amazing. Be over here. And that is going to feel amazing. 
for your average like driver maybe or for somebody who's just getting into the sport um if we're loving it coming out of a car where we're like we're old so we got it all set to be cushy yeah so we like a nice plus ride but we also this car on top of being a plus ride has more bottom out control than a stock car yeah if this car uh were stock well it was stock and we were bottoming it out yeah when we ride uh dunes we ride hard enough that we hit bottom a lot yeah. not now we need the extra bottom out control right which it feels like somebody because mts off-road thank you guys the last tune they did on this at camp razor last year i believe it felt it feels like sometimes when you feel like you're kind of oh we got traffic traffic on the right we feel it feels like somebody's getting underneath of you and like just catching you before you hit the ground and lifting you back up right yeah <laughs> so awesome that I'll make a new song for your ride, but we'll sing it like, We're gonna go sideways through the drifting zone. Yeah? <laughs> Where is he at? He's just driving. Look at that, up. coming into this parking lot. Look at, I like that rig. That's like a side by side blog. Those boys have like a long one like that, right? Yeah, but it's a wedge, yeah. Yeah. Look at this, though. Cue music. We gotta have some good music right here. And flashing lights. <laughs> oh, this is how we come for a day trip. <laughs> you know what? We worked hard to have what we have, and we're going to enjoy it as often as we can, no That's matter what. That's right. Right? We work hard. So, we'll be back. <laughs> Heading out for what is probably... Our last ride of the day here Monday up in a uh, Tamarack Snow Park. So off we go. We are finally taking uh, getting some more seat time in the new 2020 RZR Pro XP. You're yes, welcome. we are. It feels good. It feels really good. So no roof, and it's hot when you're stopped, but it feels good when you're going, huh? Yeah, it feels good. Thank we God. don't have our poppers in here, so let's see the difference. Yeah. Um, the car feels good. It feels dialed it's stock bone stock right it's bone stock all the way bone stock yes. so the kids are riding in the uh canam speaking of canam and last time they said it was like the cadillac of off-road vehicles because you know they have a roof and <laughs> mts off-road shock tune and all the different types of things going on that one's running an evo stage 3 rwi on 93 octane right now um, we also have so we got the dune tune as far as the shocks go mts off-road tuned that up for us last year at camp razor has a roof on it got a total rugged radios communication set up including pumpers uh variable air control we got the 696 intercom in there with the bluetooth control i mean so they are riding pretty pretty uh cushy right now but yeah. guess what this car feels good too it does i like it and we get to do all these different types of things to this car and this you guys car, are going to come with us yeah this car is so planted it's just it's hard to describe so it doesn't have the dynamics and i know the diamond don't get me wrong i understand they're awesome they are but that's not the only thing that makes the xp pro no the other thing is is the one piece chassis and the, the way this car is set up just the cockpit the seating position the way they've redesigned everything the but room I mean, in here but i mean the handling specifically oh yeah it's not just those dynamic shocks it's the car it's the suspension geometry the they've one done piece. a good job is what yeah. we're saying evan shindell so i believe we spoke with you before you guys did good you done good so even even with even without the um, dynamics, it still handles really good. It needs a rear view mirror for sure. Some uh, things we got to add, but but yeah. as far as handling goes, just right off out of the box, literally like stock car coming out of our Can Am that we just were in 30 minutes ago. So real fresh off of that ride. Yeah. This car feels really good. We did the Razor XP 1000, the 2015, and we loved it. But guess what? A lot of body roll. Felt like you were sitting on top of a truck when you first drove it. Oh yeah, it was brutal. That you don't have that here. Now, when you turn into a corner in this thing, it just turns. Even with the Walker Evans. Yep. I can't say it enough. And not like there's and anything wrong. don't get me wrong. No. I know those guys with the dynamics that think it's the best thing in the world. And it is awesome. I'm telling you, it's not just the dy dynamics that make this car. It really isn't. It's not. So, we didn't do the whole ultimate package. Reason being. Ooh, this thing's got some it's power? Uh, spicy and Some gelata. ponies in here. There's a lot of ponies under this hood. But, yeah. uh... To have this car, um, 
handle the way it does, like just right out of the friggin' box is amazing. It feels yeah, good, I'm telling you. It does. Uh, what we need to do, I'm going to tell you what my top list is. You tell me if you agree. we got to put radio communications in the car. Yeah. Right now we are running things to rugged radios, a portable intercom, which sounds great, works great, so we're happy about that. But we got to get the whole setup with the intercom, the, car, the radio, we want to get everything going. We need to get a roof. Because I burn easily and I don't want that to happen. we got to be conscious of the sun exposure for both of us. We uh, we need to get, um, uh, what else did I say a minute ago? We need to get harnesses. Hey, SideBySideBlogParts.com. Hey, my bestie. Uh, oh, my God. Remind me. I'm sending you the bracelet, Ricardo. Uh, <laughs> I did make one last night. Asked my husband. Uh, that's, I, a true, it's, that's a true story. Because of my shirts. Thank you, guys. So, anyways, we need to get some more uh, Simpson belts because uh, Simpsons, sing song. Because these ones, although I know they're safe, I guess, but not. I don't feel like it's the best thing ever. I prefer to be, like, totally where I can't move in the seat. It makes me feel secure, like yeah. someone's hugging me. But speaking of seats, how do, you, how do you feel about these stock seats? The stock seats, to me, feel good. I know it's a whole one, I think it's a one-piece molded plastic yeah. seat with different... They've uh, designed the, put the uh, little cushions on uh, in different spots and have airflow coming through. Similar to Can-Am, but more airflow. Yeah, feels good to me. They feel pretty darn good. I, the, um, more bolstering, more, more side bolstering than uh, Can-Am. Yeah. The seats feel good. To me, it, they feel good. And you also have, the driver's seat has a, a four, I think it's like you have a up and forward motion like adjustments you have like two inches up and four inches six inches forward backward something like that and i do like i like uh suspension seats but the can-am in this car both these seats are not that bad no we had prp seats in the last razor that we got and they were super awesome and great we needed them because the stock seats in the razor 2015 if you ever had one of those you know not the most bestest they're the worst the worst um, That's what they are. Yeah. So, but these feel good. The Can-Am feels. The Can-Am seats feel good. So we haven't we haven't changed the seats in the Can-Am. We probably never will. Honestly, why change? Why why fix something that's working? Right? Let's. Well, I, unless the opportunity comes our way. We might. Right. Well, then that's a different story. But I'm never gonna, say never. Never say never. That's true. You're right. So I'm going to point you guys this way for a second, and just think, I don't know if you can see anything, but you can at least see how dusty it is. This thing goes. Uh, Maybe it's starting to break in or something. It's a little oh, new belt. I don't know. Maybe the belt work. This belt works better, but it's a, it's, it, a little, it's a little spicy. It is spicy. We um, oh. we uh, we we did a little uh, roasting of the belt when we were doing the zero to sixties out in El Mexico last week. Um, little burn belt smell coming off the kind of coming off the old RZR. So we have that just loaded up as a spare. We didn't. You know, we didn't break the belt, we didn't blow it, but we definitely had a little, little uh, burning of it. So we changed the belt for this journey. Um, so it's all fresh and new, and it feels good. It feels really good. So you know, we're hitting these corners at a pretty good speed, not crazy. But it doesn't, no, you know, not that crazy uh, body roll that we were used to with our um, the, 2015 Yeah, you guys razor. did. You guys have done well, Polaris. And like I said, we love things that go fast and that make you smile. So, I mean, we're not, like, stuck on on one thing. We There's enough room in the game for everybody to have a place, I feel like. So, we're just going to have a great time doing what we do, which is riding and being able to do it with our family. Look, at we have the kiddos up there. Uriah's our family, too. When you, you know when you off-road and you ride with somebody, you have to put a certain level of trust in them, and they become family. So, here we are. Just a little family ride along. And Uriah's getting it today. Good job. Good mm -hmm. job, Uriah. It's dandy approved. Right? That is dandy approved. So let's see how you drive. Sir, let's watch Mr. Hoover driving in the Razor now. We saw him in the canal earlier. Cornering, doing what he does, drifting and whatnot. Now we're in the Razor, the RZR 2020 XP, the new one. And uh, let's see how he handles this car, shall we? And up ahead, we have DJ and Chelsea in the Kanam with the all the stuff loaded up. Yeah, this thing feels good. We're just kind of we're just kind of cruising along here, about forty miles an hour. Yeah, nothing crazy. It feels good when you go like this. Makes me want to sing our our riding song. Do you remember what, how it goes? The beat. Right. <laughs> exactly. 
That is the writing song. I wrote that beat myself. It's copyright. <laughs> yeah, so we're hitting some pretty gnarly... If you if you take a look at some of these bumps we're hitting, some of these potholes, they're pretty nasty. Yeah, it's more than a bump. It's more like the road got washed away by a waterfall and there's nothing left of it. Yeah. And then you just ram right into it. Road, no road. And yeah, then road again. some of those pretty good. And, and we are uh, soaking it up because you don't hear me going, uh, 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 uh. You know? No, it's 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 pretty good. I'm curious to try the dynamics someday because if you know we're gonna try this, that someday too. We're gonna try everything not, for you. Guys. Yeah, if this is not the dynamics, uh, it's really it's a major step above Wow, any, so if this feels this good, imagine what that must feel like. Yeah, it's a major step above the original razor that we have for sure. Let's get some of this footage. Look at these boys just up here getting just it. Planted it yeah, it corners. is planted. What I, I so, how are we doing over here? Yeah, so we're on some. If you look, take a look there. I don't know how well you can see this, but in the camera, but this is pretty rough stuff right here. It's not. We're not like climbing big rocks. Whoa! But, but I mean, this stuff will beat you around, and uh, this thing, this thing handles it well. Like I said, it's not as smooth as the X3. We don't exactly. expect it to be, to be because the X3 is tuned and yes, but it definitely is. Uh, it's definitely um, smoother and more composed, planted. You definitely still have controllability. Well. Yeah. It just, the more we drive it, the more I realize how well it handles with these Walker Evans. So I can imagine, like I said, the dynamics must be really And good. we're going to have MT, we're going to let MTS put their magic hands on this car, aren't we? Yep. Yes. Yeah, we want to maintain the... Um, Bottom out control. And we want to maintain the... Um, you know how planted it is. How planted it is as far as body roll side to side, forward to back, stuff like that. But we want a, we want a little a little more plush ride, do the chop stuff. Because we're used to that. <laughs> well, that's just nice to have. I mean, it why is. not? Why not? If it's there, why not be able to have it, right? Yeah. If it's there, why not have it? If you can't do it, this car like it sets. It this totally is a, handles. Uh, yeah. like, it feels this good a, to me. You could take this car and never do a single thing to it, and it'd be a great car. It's 100%. awesome. And this yeah. is base model, we guys. We want just a <coughs> base model 2020 uh, RZR Pro XP yeah. base model. Um, we're going to be building it up because we want to take you guys with us on the process so we can see where we start and how it ends up. But um, So well, here we are. Here's our view on how we start. It's awesome. Two thumbs up. This is stock, bone stock, and I'd buy it all day long. Yeah. Look at this rockiness going on. So this is where we were last time. <clears throat> the first time we took this car out and... <clears throat> we didn't drive the Razor up this part. We no. drove the Can-Am, and I drove it up in two-wheel drive, so I'm going to let Any, yeah. make sure that... We're going to make sure we're in four. Is DJ in four? Do you make, DJ, make sure you're in four and low. Yes. And... All right, we're going to be in four and low, and we're going to climb... We didn't get to climb this last time in this. We cli I climbed it... Actually, I climbed it by myself in the Can-Am. I was up at the top. I, I mountain hiked to the top of the hill to record the video. Get a good shot of them going up. There we go. See those boys? There we go, guys. Get out this way. Right. Yeah. Do you want me to get out? Okay, so we're going to head up the hill now. Uh, you saw the others going up. So if you guys ride, you're going to be able to hopefully tell the steepness of this. You, the camera doesn't do justice, but we'll see if we can get you a good angle. And we are going up it in the new Razor. Handling these rocks on these trails like nobody's business. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Just going. Oh, what? Let's just, hey, guys. Oh, you're hanging out. You want a drink? I'm going to make you a sandwich. <laughs> Feels good in here. Right? So that felt good. That felt that pretty. I'm going to say. Uh, what happened? What was that? I said that car crawls a little bit nicer, huh? Yeah, it does. It crawls really nice. It just pop, 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 pop. Which we noticed that in the last razor we had, right? Uh, Remember coming here specifically and climbing up Bald Mountain and just being able to just walk up it basically. Pop, 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 pop. Sure. Yeah, yeah, this thing feels good. I, Speaking I'm, of like I'm, that. I'm really starting to enjoy this car. I know. And we haven't gotten much seat time, and I love it. We're going to have more, guys, promise. We're going to be reviewing this with you all the way. All the good and the bad. We're not just going to tell you all the cool stuff. Um, this trail's cool, right? It's cool. I mean, it's a lot of greenery. Whoa, dippity doo. <laughs> I wanted to see how it would feel. I know, and I did too. <laughs> 
Okay, that means it feels good, I think, when I laugh like that. I don't know. It's I'm a little dusty without my pumper. This, I'm liking this car. I'm liking it, too. I can't wait to try it in the dunes. Yeah. Oh, oh my so God. I want to give a shout-out right now, before I forget, to Chris from Blind TV. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That... Dude, you are so cool. I finally got a chance to talk with them. So he's talked with my hubby multiple times. They, they, he's a friend right. of ours now. I'm going to wait a minute. Okay, anyway, so Chris, Blind TV. If you guys haven't checked him out, I'm going to put a link to his channel below too. Check him out, subscribe. And if, as, as soon as you see him, and my turn. It's right here to the left. as soon as you see him and you watch any of his videos, you're going to understand why. Hang that on. is Okay, so here we are in the rockiest spot ever. <laughs> Not really. But not really, it's not. I'm but we're heading up. up your visor and get some air. Do we go this way or that way? We're going this way. Okay. So, uh, DJ and, and Uriah just went up this way. Our can am And here we are. Let's go. And the Razor. Nice. No dirt, so I don't have to put my visor up right or down right now. I've got no dust blowing in my face. Look at this, everybody. I'm telling you, it's a cool-looking crew. Okay, we made it up there. All right, now we're getting to some pretty gnarly stuff. Just dropping down over this, uh, lots of rocky... Oh, shoot. Oh, we're sitting on our... <laughs> That's a little... We got to um, we have the, uh, whatchamacallit underneath, skid plate, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. We skidded. All right. Okay, uh, not so too bad. Not no, too bad. but this is like, see what I mean? Like, this is all great, and I know if you love doing this stuff, like, freaking awesome. Whatever you love to do, as long as you're out doing it, do it. I, I have no discrimination, but I prefer to go fast and not be like hanging on the edge of a rock cliff by three tires. It's not <laughs> my thing. <laughs> I get my adrenaline from going really fast and jumping like into bowls. Yeah, it's fun. So what's I'm going on? We're going to climb up this. This is a pretty gnarly old climb right here. Let's see what this looks like. A visor up so you can cool off. Thank you, baby. Take care of me. Okay, look at that, guys. So here are uh, the can -Ams going up. We're going to do it. Here are the can -Ams going up. Hmm. All right. Our turn. We're doing it in the razor. So we're going to see how she handle, he, she, whatever, how he handles. I think we've decided he's a boy because we've got yeah. brothers here. It's going to be really competitive between these two boys, I think. <laughs> this car's starting to shine on me. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hey, don't let Trip hear that, okay? All right. He gets jealous real easily. Man. Look at this, guys. Well, would you look at that? I heard you guys. <laughs> well, would you look at that? <laughs> oh, I should have worn my sweater. <laughs> Your sweater? Yeah, the guy in the videos that does that. Well, would you look at that? He has that, like, <laughs> sweater. <laughs> sweater thing on. Sweater vest. All right. That was easy and easy. felt good. Yeah, this is a climbing beast. I think it actually might, kind of, in some ways, be more comfortable to climb in this. I think it is, actually. It's not as a... You're not on three wheels at any time. I don't feel like we're on three wheels. And in the Can-Am, when we're out here climbing, I feel like we are on three wheels several times during the climb. Uh oh I was like, oh, my thing's not connected. Guess what? You know why? We don't have it in here. <laughs> Where's yeah. my air control? Yeah. I miss you. You could go like this. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> and pop a bunch more dirt into your helmet. <laughs> That's okay. What's happening is I'm complaining like first world problems uh, right here happening. I cannot... I have dirt in my eyes because my helmet is not connected to my pumper. Because it's in the other car that we own. First world problems. <laughs> okay, we're getting ready to head up this... Uh, yeah, unfortunately we don't have zoom, but... Do, uh, your right eyes up, up there. there. Point up there and see. Can you get them? Yeah, I got him. All right. We're going to pull up here. We're going to get ready to climb up this thing. Okay. Watch that part. You see that? He's stepping up. Step, step. So now we got the kit. What was that? It's hot. The sun's cooking. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's bacon. I'm trying over roof. Okay. So, we got the kiddos there in the canam, getting ready to head up this rocky mountain. Shit, that's the camera's tilted a little on there. Let me, and, uh, here we go. They're following Uriah's line. He already made it up to the top. So, us, uh, we're following them. We're in the 2020 RZR Pro XP, our new car, getting a little seat time. We got no roof, so we're baking. I'm probably going to have some weird tan lines. But, there's the kids in the canam. What happened? I don't know. What's up? DJ, you good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. So here we are. We're coming up in this. How does it feel? Feels good. Really good. That Can-Am looks so majestic right now. So majestic, climbing the top the Rocky Mountain. Sitting there, perched. Look at her. I'm so glad. I'm going to put this in here. Chelsea, I'm so glad you passed the test. Because I really liked you, and I really wanted him to marry you. And I'm so glad that we <laughs> we rolled you. We had that plan to roll you, and you got in anyway. <laughs> Dang it. That's what happened to me. That's how you get initiated into this clan, folks. <laughs> and it's always in a razor, by the way. <laughs> Same razor. Same razor. I know. It's very I mean, RZR. It's something blue. That's what, you know, how they do the something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. You got to roll in something blue, and then you get married. That's what happens. I'm interested to hear what the audio sounds like now that we got the new, like, line-in thing, right? It should be good. I, should, I put it in yesterday, tested it a little bit. Thank you guys over at Rugged for sending that out and getting it hooked up for us. We appreciate it, Steve's yeah. and uh, Joe, and, of course, Gray. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Audio brought to you by Rugged Radio. We should start saying that. We're going every to. Time and our audio it. brought to you by Rugged Radio. But I wouldn't say it like that. Oh. <laughs> I know. God, I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at this, guys. This but all seriousness, yeah, definitely audio. The audio that you hear every time we ride is definitely brought to you by. By Rugged Radio. Yeah. Those guys, uh, they know what they're doing. And not only do they know what they're doing, they uh, believe in the cause. They believe in everybody being able to ride. And they do, they, they, uh, they walk the talk, right? They walk the walk. Talk Whatever. Talk. They don't talk. just say stuff. They do it. So those guys are involved in every kind of cause and thing that you guys can imagine. They're out, whether it's off-road racing, whether it's just R&D, whether it's, you know, Contributing to the community, donating items, making sure that everybody has communications for safety. They are a huge proponent of uh, off-roading. Like, really, they do it themselves. So it's not just, a, hey, we're going to develop this product and sell it. Like, they right. use it. So thank you guys so much. Look at this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's beautiful. There's Shaver Lake out here in Cali. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, it's a Monday, so there's no boats zooming around in it, not many at least. And here we are, we made it to the lookout, which is the top of Bald Mountain. I think we're sitting at, I don't know how many thousands of feet, but I know that when we were driving up, I saw a sign that said 8,000 on the road, so we're up, we're up pretty high. Yeah. And, uh, this guy loves it up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely my favorite. And it's his birthday, so happy birthday, babe. <laughs> and this is how we celebrate. We're just climbing to the top of a mountain, because everybody should climb to the top of a mountain in their side-by-side -side on their birthday. That's how you know you're alive. It's exhilarating. So look at that. And look at that. Take your family with you. Lucky, lucky. I say lucky, but you know what I mean. Like, the harder we work, the luckier we get. Lucky. Exactly. So you guys, we're going to take a little break to have some sightseeing and some hangout. I'm going to climb I'm gonna climb that guy. And then uh, we'll be back, yeah? All right, we're up at the tower. Look, look at these crazy peoples. We're up on the tower on the top of the... Uh, where are we at? You're right. Uh, top of Bald Mountain at the top, tower. Top of Bald Mountain at the tower. We got a Look swarm. We're up at the Bald Beaver. American flag, baby. American flag. American we got a swarm of uh, pterodactyls. pterodactyls. If you watched our last video from up here, one of those attacked me, knocked me clear out of the car, and then I had to kill it. It took an hour. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's what happened. And Brandy screamed. That's the intro of the video. Because I said, I said, is it a, is it a bee? You said, it's not a bee, babe. And then you stopped the car. I got a bee. That's worse than a bee. What happened? Okay. What happened up there? Guys, the mountains are a scary place. What? 
pterodactyls, dragonflies, bees, attack bees. This guy follows you in. I gotta get my finger going the right way. Oh, and you guys gotta point your cameras at each other. I do? Alright. Oh, 100 space doom you, bro. These guys. He won't leave me alone! These guys are tripping. Chelsea, what's happening? It's on your back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on you. I think at this point it's your imagination. Maybe I'm hearing things. Yeah, I, think I think I'm hearing things. What happened? You got a bee on you? It was following me. Yeah. Um. Speaking of like cool stuff, the reason why we get to do all this cool stuff is because of you guys. So. I mean, we would do what we could do, but you guys have enabled us to do a lot more. So thank All you right. very much. And we do it because we, we want to bring you along with us, and you guys motivate us. Honestly, that's the truth. So thank you so much to all of our subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please do it. I mean, it does help us. Whether or not that makes sense, it does. So you're here watching. Just hit the subscribe button. Um, you know, we appreciate it, all of you. Our patrons, if you guys knew how much we appreciated you, your minds would be exploded right now. So guys we can't wait we got a ride soon all of us like let's hook up we'll be doing glamis uh all throughout the season uh starting camp razor so we'll be posting all that on our facebook group which there's a link below which is dandy off-road adventure seekers um there's going to be links to our patreon if you guys want to help us out there we'd appreciate it there's going to be links to our facebook group our instagram anything you want to be a part of we welcome you please comment we love it we still respond to every comment it takes us a little time sometimes these days but we do we love it, it makes our day um, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. It makes us happy. You want to make us smile, do that. If you don't like what we're doing, we definitely want to know. Hit the dislike button two times so I stopped immediately, right? Exactly. Like, promise. Um, so thank you guys again. Subscribe, like, comment, um, join the groups, hang out with us, come ride with us. Be our friends. You already are. All the trees back there.